Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can clone your GitHub repository on your Windows box here. I'm going to start by installing from ground up. Right now, as you can see, if I go run a command, I don't even have a git installed to it and neither do I have any Visual Studio code installed quite yet in here in this machine here so you can see there's nothing in here so let's get started the first thing I want to do is to install git you can get git from this URL just google uh, git like that then from here I'm gonna clean up a bit more download and then you're gonna download for Windows here then you select your CPU architecture mine's gonna be 64 bit and it's gonna download. It's gonna be relatively quick. So once the installation uh, download is done, click on that uh, installation file and just follow everything that's coming up here. I'm just gonna minimize this guy here. I'm gonna keep everything default by clicking next, next, next all the way to the very end, and then let the installation process start. Once the installation is done, click on finish here and press window R uh, and then uh, type CMD and click here to open your command prompt. So it's going to minimize this browser here. And now if you type git, if your installation is done correctly, you should get something like that. This indicates your git installation is good and it's ready. The next thing I'm going to install will be Visual Studio Code. Just going to go Google again and then go Visual Studio. Studio code and just gonna go download and then download from Microsoft website itself. Once the web page comes up, select the operating system type. Mine's gonna be Windows, and then you'll start downloading here in a bit. Once the download is complete, I'm just gonna run the installation exe file here. Minimize this guy, accept. Again, this I'm gonna use the standard default values. So just gonna click next, 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 and let it install. Once it's done, I'm going to click on finish here and this will launch your Visual Studio code. Now you got Git Visual Studio installed on your computer here. Uh, next thing you're going to do, you're going to link your Visual Studio code to your GitHub. You're going to left click on this icon here, which is an account icon, and then turn on cloud changes. And in here, you're going to select uh, sign in with GitHub. And what it does is it opens a GitHub web page. Log in with your user credential here. Over here, you're going to click on Open, and that will open up your Visual Studio Code again. And now we're going to allow the extension. Click on Open here again. Next, you're going to go to Source Control icon here. Click on this guy here, and you're going to say Clone Repository. And in here, I'm going to minimize this guy here. It's too much distraction. In here, you're going to select Git Clone and say Allow. And I'm going to authorize Visual Studio Code like this here. And then I'm going to click on Open here. And then I click on Open again. So I can see all my uh, repository in here. So this is the repository I want. And this is directly coming from GitHub. So over here, you're going to have to assign a directory where uh, your GitHub uh, repo needs to be downloaded. So I'm going to put it on a desktop here just to make it simple. So when you select desktop, you'll create a directory called uh, Project X, you'll see here. Once that directory is selected, say desktop, you say select as repository destination. And after that, click on open. Over here, you're going to put a check on trust the author. And you say, yes, trust this author here again one more time. And you can see this is what I've cloned from my uh, GitHub. So if I go to my GitHub here, so I have four projects here or four repos here. You, can, you saw the four repos. And then the one I'm opening right now is called Xamarin here uh, under the projects uh, project or repository. And this is what I'm looking at right now here. So there's like a couple of files in here. So if I dial in here, this is what you see it here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some modification to say a particular file here. Let's say this file here, main activity on my uh, Xamarin app. So I'm going to close this welcome here and then over here. Say, for example, I need to put some comments or make some changes. This is a comment or some other program changes. I want to keep it simple. Just put comments in there and then press Control S. When you press Control S, you can see that your, your uh, source control has detected one change here. Right. So 
once the change are done, uh, there could be multiple changes. Like for example, I'm gonna make another one, say readme. You're gonna, I don't know, put the pound two, something like that. Make more changes so that you can see multiple files. Control S to save it. You should see two files now in there. So now you need to push this, commit and push this into the GitHub repository. So it say commit. And then over here, it say, do you want to stage it? Say yes. If it's the first time doing this, you will get this kind of error here. What you do here is just click on learn more and this will open a web page here under the git. You scroll down a bit more here, you can see under the section called your identity, this two uh, entry has to be entered. So you're gonna right click here and I'm gonna copy in here. And I'm gonna go and press window R and CMD. This is gonna open a command prompt here and gonna right click and paste it in here. Make sure you're in the user and the username directory here. And just change this to your your name like that and then click enter here and you should get nothing another command that you're gonna have to do would be your email here right click copy go to your command prompt here right click paste it here and then just put your user email here like that once that's done hit enter you should almost get like nothing here. So you type exit to close your uh, command prompt. And now go back to this guy here and let's commit here one more time. And this time around, they give you a log or, or a change log of what you have modified in a program. So I'm just gonna say testing for YouTube or something like that. And then you click here to accept the commit message here and then say yes here. So now the changes are committed but now you're gonna have to push this change to your github repository you know to do that either you click on this sync changes or you can go here and select push here from this three epsilon button here i'm gonna click on this one here sync changes and click ok so before you push uh, there's another sign in you're gonna have to do this is mostly for the git tool itself uh, you're just gonna have to say yes sign in with your browser and open up the browser again as you can see I'm getting localhost colon port number and a bunch of alphanumeric numbers here on my URL the reason for that is that I've done this in the past before and I've authorized git to uh, to access the um, github itself from Visual Studio but if it's the first time you're doing it you probably have to sign in with your browser and then there will be a button called authorize git ecosystem uh, you're gonna have to click that button and you will come up to a somewhat similar kind of screen here once that's done, let's minimize this screen here and you can see that it's already been pushed. Now if you go back to your GitHub repository here and then give it a refresh here, you can see that uh, your changes has been uh, updated here. You can see these two files are the one that I just updated. You click on this guy here. You can see this is a comment that I recently added here. And then if you go to the readme.md, you can see that uh, I've added number two in here too, right? So that's why it's saying that. If this tutorial was helpful, please like and subscribe. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye now.